Thank you, Vera and Raby, for the tags. So we've got multiple situations going on right now. A chunk of the ENV tuber community is not happy about this stuff. Let me show you what's going on. With over 1,100 likes, a tweet by Fate the Scientist VTuber reads, I've seen a couple tweets regarding non-VTubers using the VTuber tag. Good news is you can report people for using an inappropriate tag. Just click the dot 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 on the video player to find the report option can follow the images below. And Carrot with over 2,100 likes also making a tweet talking about the tag situation. Another tweet with over 350 likes, this one by Neko Mom. In the comments, people are talking about how outraged they are about this and others essentially saying that it's just very sad to see. On the flip side, other people have a different opinion. For example, the Mike Sounders saying, it's so weird, people are actually upset about this. I made a joke about it a few weeks ago, but reporting people for it is kinda lame. Dingo saying, in response I presume to reporting people, if you do this, you are a narc and a loser. So it seems a number of people who are not VTubers have been using the VTuber tag on Twitch. Some people accusing XQC of doing that. And here's an example of Amaranth. A tweet with over 2,300 likes from Aki Fei says, Uh, so why is Amaranth in the VTuber category when I browse Twitch? I got the image censored to abide TOS because Amaranth is wearing an extremely revealing bathing suit. On YouTube, I believe I could show it if she was at a beach, but she's not. Anyways, in the image of her stream, there does indeed seem to be the VTuber tag. So what do you think? Was it a mistake to add that tag? Was it intentional? Is it even a big deal or not? Let me know what you think in the comments, and now we'll move on to the next part. There are also a lot of people talking about this news, and once again, reception seems a bit split. You see, there's this person, Cookie Swirl C, and she says my VTuber debut is finally here getting work done by Rin and Iron Vertex. In case you are new here, welcome to my variety channel. I started my channel in 2013. For the longest time, my channel didn't have a face and was represented by this adorable little cookie that I created. Hello, you know me. But now, finally, I do have a face to use in videos as a VTuber. Can't wait to see you in my next video, and thank you so much for being here for my VTuber debut. Bye, you guys. See you soon in my next video. So as I mentioned, I've seen mixed reception to this news. For example, there are some people that are upset that Cookie Swirl C has become a VTuber because she's got 17.6 million subscribers. I've also seen other people say it's weird for her to become a VTuber when her audience is primarily kids. And on a similar note, I've seen other people say that they're worried the parents of those kids will think all VTubers are for kids or something. Now to be fair, in Cookie's defense, is her audience really all kids? Well, I don't know what her analytics are, and her videos, at least the ones that I took a look at, are not marked for kids specifically. However, being objective here, a lot of people in the comments of her videos talk about how their kids watch her content and or that they have enjoyed her content when they themselves were kids. And some could argue that the content itself, the videos, that they seem like they are directed towards kids. However, there are also plenty of people that don't seem to care about her becoming a VTuber and they embrace it. And that kind of even includes some high profile EN VTubers, so to speak as well, that seem supportive of what Cookie Swirl CS got going on here. So as usual, ultimately make up your own opinion on that stuff. I'm simply giving you the news. And with that news, that seems to be the conclusion of this segment. As always, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you there and in the next one.